So our next guest is the very definition of a triple threat. Danica McKellar is an actress who is, of course, first introduced to us as Winnie Cooper in the hit drama, The Wonder Years. In addition, she's a mathematician and advocate who graduated summa cum laude with a degree in math from UCLA. And if that's not enough, also an author. <laughs> yes, well, Danica's out with her 12th book. God. It's titled I Love You 100, a book that teaches children to count to 100 through a story full of love. And she's here to tell us all about it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to see you. So this is your 12th math book. Yes. Where did your idea for this one come from? You know, this might be my last math book for a while, and I wanted to focus on love. Okay. Um, I teach kids how to count to 100 in the context of a mother's unconditional love for her child. Aww. Every page shows different circumstances and emotions and how the child is loved no matter what, whether they're angry, happy, sad, making a mess. And it's such an important message for yeah, kids. It is. Parents, are more than ever, we're so busy. We're distracted by our phones. We're being pulled in different directions. And so it's, it's that much more important to sit down and read with your child. Yeah. And I Love You 100 is perfect for that because not only are you getting that, that bonding time, but the book itself provides a specific tool for communicating what that unconditional love looks like. I love that. So kids are feeling loved, safe, mm -hmm. and also creating a happy association with numbers Yeah. because I want kids to not be afraid of math. Mm. So, <laughs> As so, you know, this is my mission. So why might this be your last math book? Because I feel like I've blanketed the amount of math that I wanted to teach. If you go to mckellarmath.com, you can see I've got books for babies through high school geometry. If I get such a, you know so inspired, perhaps I'll do another. I am uh -huh. obviously very passionate about it. But I want kids to have the tools they need to get that confidence mm -hmm. that comes from feeling smart. To not have math be the scary yes, thing, yeah. but make it accessible yeah. and make it something that is a tool for them. Math is like doing math is like going to the gym for your brain. Mm. It makes your brain stronger and smarter. And so if I can combine that with love. I mean, what's, what could be better? Giving your kids all the tools they need. And you, you make a good point about confidence, because our son, he's 11, he was struggling in, in math, and it was starting to affect other things. And yes. We got him some help, and now he's more confident in, yes. in, in his math, and it's spilled over into other subject areas. I want to go back to these illustrations yes. for a moment here, because they're beautiful, but we couldn't help but notice there's a bit <laughs> of a, a resemblance between the characters oh, in the book yes, and, and, and you and your son. My son, when he was younger, I know. Is that me trying to cling to the That's days cute. when he was little? No, oh. of course not. Why would I do something like that? Um, but you'll, yeah, no, absolutely. He's my little precious guy, even though he's towers over me now. Look at him, there, <laughs> there he is. Wow. He's, he's, me. he's like almost 5'10", and I mean, he just, it's like, when did that happen? I love that. Oh, wow, he, he yes. does tower over you. Yes. And he's... 15? He's 15. But wow, he's going to be tall. my little guy. Of I, course. I'm not alone here, right? So I guess this <laughs> yeah. is like the year of 12s. You've got your 12th Christmas book, and then also you have your 12th Christmas movie. Yes. What are the odds that that coincided? I know. They're not, and I'm a mathematician. They're not very good. That's the odds are <laughs> my 12th Christmas movie. Jeez. It's the first one that I've written, um, and it's called Have We Met This Christmas? Uh, it premieres on Great American Family Channel December 13th. And okay. Great American Family Channel, by the way, is finally available on YouTube TV as of oh, just a few months that. ago. It Good. wasn't for a long time. It's on YouTube TV, of course, cable and streaming as well. But I had always, for some reason, wanted to play a character who gets amnesia. Not sure why. Wow. It just seemed like fun to wake up. You know when you pretend to be an actress when you really are? <laughs> and you'll be like, wait, what? Like, I don't who, remember. Who am I? Yeah, so that's why I wrote this story. Watching too many soaps. <laughs> It is. was a story of second chance at love at Christmas time, made possible only because I don't remember my ex or that I never wanted to speak to him again. Wow. So you so, fell in love with him again? <laughs> yes. And, and also, I'm a real estate buyer really in the cute. midst of buying his family's inn, but I don't remember that. So I end up helping him hatch a plan to oh, stop, like, the, oh, sale, is like wow. stop the sale of like the co big corporation buying the family inn, not knowing that I am the corporation. Oh, so it's a good. really fun that's plot. And, wow. and Jesse Hatch, my co-star, did a great job. It's, I'm so excited for people to see it. Mark your calendars so. December 13th. It also streams on Pure Flix December 11th as well. Girl, you have it all Riffin. in there. Jeez. Danica, thank you. Both sides gosh. of the brain, too, because you're creative and you're a mathematician. I, I mean, mean seriously. I, I feel so blessed to get to do both things. Yes, yeah, it's good stuff. Truly. Oh. Well, the book Love You 100 is out now. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.